Hey guys, welcome. It's very early in the morning. I deleted the video from yesterday because it was not ideal, in not, not explained properly anyway. I still stand by the fact that semiconductor memory cells are better, uh, but I'm going to show you why that is taking into account engineering skills for a battle cruiser. Um, again, th this actually may be different across cruisers, across um, frigates, whatever you want. Um, I would need to do some extra testing, especially on cruisers. I might do it on my healer. Uh, here is not a gila by the way as a healer got told that by a couple of people yesterday um, Thanks to G2A for something on the channel. So yeah, I think um, I think this video is going to mostly explore how battle cruiser en engineering can impact uh, Your overall cap recharge rate and how actually capacitor control circuits give you a better peak recharge uh, Or a better potential peak recharge But actually the real world stat that you're interested in is this one that you can see on the top uh, right of your screen Which is capacitor duration which is better in most cases with semiconductor memory cells. There are a few ships where I think actually um, capacitor control circuits might be better, including the Phantasm, because the Phantasm has such a high natural cap recharge where the difference is, is, is you know, six gigajoules between three semiconductor memory cells and three capacitor control circuits. But for most ships that don't have a recharge rate that high, it's almost always going to be better to have the extra cap and go with semiconductor memory cells. Um, and I'm going to talk about it why in this video and hopefully this is better explained than the other one But I can't promise anything because it's six o'clock in the morning and I didn't sleep because I screwed up my video so hard yesterday Okay, so one of the bits that I forgot to include yesterday um, unfortunately Was talking about cap up time being the important stat um, I deleted the video yesterday because honestly it was a little misleading because I didn't include the entire information So we're going to go through another example This time with a battle cruiser. I have uh, level 4 normal uh, battle cruiser engineering and level 3 battle cruiser advanced en engineering So I've got 29% extra capacitor and the way that it works when Calculating engineering and uh, by the way it's 6 in the morning I decided to wake up at 6 in the morning to do this because I couldn't sleep because I was like ah oh, for God's sake I hate it when I do something really obviously wrong, and quite clearly uh, a lot of people felt like I trolled them out of 100 million uh, ISK, which I'm so sorry about, but I'm going to try and explain it in, in, in a better video here. I, I honestly couldn't sleep last night. That's how much this means to me. I, I couldn't sleep last night because I was really upset at myself. Um, the a problem was I was in Excel doing it for like for like the specific modules, and then I just didn't consider engineering for the, for the first part. But we're going to consider engineering for this one. So the engineering for my um, battle cruiser puts this um, my cap at uh, three thousand four hundred and sixty eight, uh, or three thousand four hundred and sixty nine in game with a recharge of five hundred and ten. What I've done is I've, I've added three semiconductor memory cells, which is going to give me a capacitor, a total capacitor capacity of four three one six. So we need to note down that um, the base regen with engineering skills is seventeen. So let's put in. 4316 here that takes it to 21.16 but a cap up time of 7 minutes 16 so we're, we're taking into account um, we're taking into account all of these things so 2 semiconductor 1 um, C what we're going to do now is we're going to slowly replace semiconductors with capacitor control circuits and bang, okay? So my capacitor um, drops to 4034 and my time goes to 472. So my recharge is actually technically higher. If you remember that the recharge previously was 21.16, but my cap up time is actually about 20 seconds lower if you're running everything all of the time. So let's now try one semiconductor and two CCCs. Um, so we're going to do two capacitor control circuits. And that drops my capacitor capacity to 3751. And my recharge time to 436 which gives me 21.51, but uh, my recharge duration is six minutes 32. And 
just having a look, it's 7.5% compared to 10.5%. So there is a 3% difference between these two. There's only a 2.5% difference between the other types of... Um, well, I think there might actually be more. I'll do it in the market in a second. And then we're going to do three CCCs. Okay, so this is with, this is with four, level four, uh, normal engineering and level three advanced engineering. So let's go to three capacitor control circuits. That drops the time to five minutes, 58. Um, and three, four, six, nine. And that takes to 404. And our capacitor recharge rate um, would actually be worse. So three CCCs in this particular instance is actually worse than um, one semiconductor memory cell and two capacitor control circuits. However, the uptime is best so if you're running everything all at once, the uptime is technically best on three semiconductor memory cells. So you have better uptime with three semiconductor memory cells. Now, what we have to take into account in this particular circumstance um, is the fact that obviously you're not going to be running everything all at the same time. Um, there is a really interesting graph that I'm going to get and bring up on the screen in just a moment. So let me just find that. Okay, so this is the graph that talks a little bit about um, capacitor recharge rate. And you can see that capacitor recharge percentage is greatest between about 20% and 35%. So your capacitor recharge is going to be greatest between 20% and 35%, or just under 20%, but the peak is about 25%. So the absolute peak is about 25%, and that seems to be the case in EVE Echoes as well. So... At between 20 and 33%, or sorry, 35%, so there's a 15% um, capacitor percent where you've got a very high recharge rate, 250% of normal. That's where your peak recharge actually comes into effect. If you have more capacitor, the actual amount of capacitor per percentage point is going to be larger. So therefore, you're going to be at this extended um, recharge rate for longer, depending on what you're running. Whereas... Um, if you're running three capacitor control circuits, obviously your recharge rate is going to be higher. So the peak recharge rate will end up being higher, but you, you'll be at that point for a shorter period of time. And therefore, the further you go down this line, the less efficacy that you're going to get out of that particular um, circuit. Plus the fact that semiconductor memory cells also protect you against energy neutralizers better. Um, but the one situation where I feel that capacitor control circuits are, are, are potentially better is if you are looking to become cap stable through peak recharge so if the modules that you have on your ship need that specific threshold and usually the difference between three semiconductor memory cells and th and three capacitor control circuits are is is like negligible but there may be some certain situations where your ship requires that extra two gigajoules per second to remain completely cap stable at peak capacitor recharge obviously that doesn't always take into account activatables and, and pushing you beyond that that particular percentage um this is what i just didn't describe yesterday um the, there is one ship where people have kind of given me the example that i just didn't consider um maybe as much as i should have done um so there is one ship that i that i, I do want to try and just go through now that that we may get some different results on um, the, the problem is that I don't actually have the ship. Uh, it's a phantasm. But the, the reason the phantasm might have some different... Um, the reason the phantasm might have some different um, uh, results is that its base recharge rate is very, very high. You know, you're looking at the base recharge rate of um, of a, a prophecy. Like, it's, it's not as high um, if I go to the ship information. It's 13 point... 18, which is, you know, about average for a lot of ships, right? Um, but you go to something like a, uh, a Phantasm, and it's 20. So, you know, the Phantasm, you can, I think you can get about 6 gigajoule difference, depending on your engineering level, between 3 capacitor control circuits and 3 semiconductor memory cells. And that, you know, that may actually make the difference. 6 gigajoules per second works out to be, you know, a decent amount. But in general, in general, it's it's better for cap uptime, and especially if you're having Nosferatu's, you might as well have semiconductor memory cells because, uh, not you know, if you're in, if you're relying on Nosferatu's to be your um, to be your window to cap stability, then capacitor control circuits aren't going to matter as much anyway. Um, but in general, it's better for cap uptime to have three semiconductor. Uh, memory cells than it is to have capacitor control circuits but if you're looking for a peak recharge time that is necessary so you want your peak recharge time and and that 
couple of gigajoule difference uh, actually actually makes a difference when it comes to um, uh, you know that couple of gigajoule difference you know ends up making a, a significant difference when it comes to uh, maintaining all of your modules at the same time. Then yes, okay. The, the the capacitor control circuits may come in useful in that particular instance uh, but I don't know let's let I, I guess I can go a little bit further and say what would be the case if I had five five battle cruiser engineering so like let's say um, we went to battle cruiser engineering and we went to uh, so that would be 25 percent capacitor capacity on this and I believe it's 25 percent on advanced as well so let's see no 15 percent on battle cruiser capacity so it would be a total of 40 percent extra capacity so let's work it out with 40 percent we'll do another example so if i was to have uh five five battle cruiser engineering my base cap recharge would be 18.45 let's say i had three semiconductor memory cells that would take it to four six eleven six three five which would make oops that's not what i wanted to do 4611.635, which would take it to 22.61. Okay, so that's with three semiconductor memory cells. Um, obviously, we can't see cap up time because I don't have those skills, but we're gonna just we're just gonna compare the um, the recharge rates and see how different they would be with five out of five engineering skills. So that's 21.61. Let's add one capacitor uh, control circuit, um, the the prototype versions, and then see how that impacts it. So with one capacitor control circuit and two semiconductor memory cells it's 22.94 so it's 0.3 difference even with five out of five um, battle cruiser engineering skill on both um let's now have a look at what it would be like with two semiconductor sorry one semiconductor memory cell and two capacitor control circuits okay so with two capacitor control circuits and one semiconductor memory cell out of five and five battle cruiser engineering we're at 23.19 which is a, a difference of 0.5 essentially 0.5 gigajoules per second which is absolutely nothing in to be honest with for the most part especially when you consider the extra cap that you're getting plus then when we looked at that graph you know the point at which you're in that peak recharge rate is going to be a wider margin based on just flat number of gigajoules available when you have semiconductor memory cells now let's look at it um, if i had three capacitor control circuits and we had no semiconductor memory cells and that takes it to 23.32, which is about one, it's less than one, less than one gigajoule better than having semiconductor memory cells. And semiconductor memory cells give you, uh, if I could just work it out again, semiconductor memory cells would give you 7.15, I think. Semiconductor memory cells would give you a total of almost a thousand gigajoules extra as, as cap. Um, so you can have less than one gigajoule a second uh peak recharge increase or you can have 1000 extra gigajoules which i know which one i would choose in almost every scenario um and this is just this is just a theoretical exa the theoretical example using the prophecy plus um prophecy engineering skills so what happens you know is you do the 40 percent in your prophecy engineering skills but you add so the the, the additive multiplication comes so you don't get multiplicative with rigs you get additive so it's 40 percent plus whatever um percentage your your conductor rigs are giving you and then you add that together and then do the multiplication after that um but even with all of the examples and i've been through the the the, the recharge um even with all of the examples you get less than one gigajoule better at five five battle cruiser engineering but you get 1000 extra cap um which again when we talked about that peak recharge rate you're going to stay within you know when you have extra gigajoules that you're available when you have a quarter uh, extra gigajoules available to you or actually even a third extra gigajoules available to you you're going to stay within that peak recharge rate for potentially a third more time so you you just need to factor that in the only point at which capacitor control circuits become better i would say is if you need that 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 cap recharge to make your ship cap stable without nosferatus do not include nosferatus in your calculations because obviously they have a massive impact on cap stability but the only time that I think capacitor control circuits become better is if you need that particular peak recharge um, to be to, to to be able to make your ship cap stable with the modules that you're running, for instance, um, which I think is a very limited set of scenarios. The other one that maybe that, that the capacitor control circuits may become more useful for is the Phantasm, which has got a very high base cap recharge. Um, so the other thing that's worth noting here, you can see I've got flying around over here. I'm actually going to get rid of the uh, bloody formula now. 
is this I worked out what the prophecy cap recharge would look like if I was using tier two rigs on I either one because obviously the the higher rig you go the better that the capacitor control circuits get so the difference between three semiconductor memory cells and three capacitor control circuits is um is about 2.2 gigajoules per second which obviously over the course of um a minute if I can just calculate over the course of a minute would give you an extra 132 two, two, an extra 132 gigajoules so you'd get an extra 132 gigajoules per minute from having three capacitor control circuits however um you have got a difference in total cap of about 1400 so you have a you have a difference in total cap of about 1400 so in order for you to actually get better results from capacitor control circuits you would need to have your you would need to have your uh, ship running at full, like full spread, like I guess, I guess at like peak recharge rate, fully at peak recharge rate for one second. My brain's not working because it's very early in the morning. You'd need to have it running for at least 10 minutes, like at, at, at peak capacitor recharge rate before you actually see the value that you get. Um, over just having the flat cap increase. So this 2.2 gigajoules a second seems like a lot, but actually when you look at it, with the difference in cap that you get from semiconductor memory cells and the fact that actually 2.2 gigajoules over the course of a minute is only 132 gigajoules, uh, and you'd have to be running at cap recharge, um, like at peak cap recharge rate all the time, and to be honest, at 10 minutes, you're almost looking at being cap stable anyway, so you probably wouldn't even re see that regardless. You, you, you would need to be running for 10 minutes to see that, that increase of 1,300 gigajoules that you would have just got by having the flat capacitor um, increase anyway, right? So you'd need to be running at peak recharge for 10 minutes to see that. The own, again, again, need to stress, the only thing that would make capacitor control circuits better is if you need that 2.2 gigajoules for whatever reason per second to keep yourself cap stable with the modules that you're running. And I think that is relatively limited, I would say, for the scenarios involved. Um... Yeah, so I'm hoping this clears it up a bit more than than previously. Okay, so I don't actually have the rigs out in my null sec base to be able to do this as well as I wanted to. So I, I'm going to more talk about something else that's important here as well. One of the things that you may see having an impact on this is micro warp drives. So micro warp drives reduce your overall capacitor by 25% when they are active, which actually does have an impact on the total capacitor recharge time. Um, so micro warp drives can actually negatively impact... Um, semiconductor memory cells because they, they essentially you're reducing their 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 power by a massive amount by having a micro warp drive equipped whereas actually capacitor control circuits might might be better if you're using a micro warp drive because they're reducing your overall capacitor by 25 percent so um that is something to consider that might be a, a case where the peak recharge is actually better because obviously a 25 percent cut of a higher value is going to eat into your peak recharge rate more than a 25% cut in a smaller value. So micro warp drives might actually uh, mean that capacitor control circuits are better in some scenarios as well. That's also worth considering. Uh, it's another thing that is worth taking into, into you know taking into account when you're doing this. Um, I would honestly, and I should have said this in the video. If you want to test, use the prototype rigs. If you want to test, use the prototype rigs that you get from for free. I, that's what I was doing. I should have said I should have said that you guys should test it yourselves. Um, because it's, because the most important stat that you're looking for is is a, a capacitor uptime. So the most important stat that you're looking for is this one here, capacitor duration. Um, I am going to potentially try and bring some rigs over to my my healer. Apparently, it's healer, not gila. Uh, and see if I, you know, that would change the capacitor uptime. Uh, and maybe, you know, peak recharge potentially has an impact. But for the most part, unless you are, unless you're close to becoming cap stable purely, because if I unfit this, unless you're close to becoming cap stable entirely from your rigs, which m almost no ships are if you're trying to run all of the rigs at the same time, um, unless you're trying to become cap stable, um, then it's it's almost always better to have semiconductor memory cells because they they generally outclass uh, capacitor control circuits just based on capacitor uptime and capacitor duration for the most part. Unless again you're looking at a ship with a very high cap recharge naturally, where capacitor control circuits could potentially uh, be be more impactful, like the Phantasm. 
Um, I, I made this video at 6 a.m., so it's probably really garbage. Sorry again for uh, for some of the, the incorrect, well, maybe not the fully explained maths from yesterday. I actually deleted the video because I, I just did it. I just deleted it. And maybe I shouldn't have deleted it, but I deleted it because it, it wasn't very well explained. So hopefully this helps a little bit more. Um, again, capacitor duration and capacitor uptime is the key stat that you're looking for. Um, and honestly, for most ships, the difference between the difference in recharge time between a capacitor control circuit and a semiconductor memory cell is so negligible that it's better to just have the extra cap. And then if you lose maybe one or two gigajoules a second, it's not that big of a deal, realistically, because of the extra cap that you get from the semiconductor memory cells. So I hope that helps. Sorry for the confusion yesterday, and this is hopefully going to clear things up a little bit better.